Hello, good morning and welcome. Um, today is Ash Wednesday and these are the ashes that we're going to be distributing during the masses and liturgies today. And these ashes are not just the ashes of any burnt old thing, they are the ashes of the palms that we used in our masses and liturgies last year. And in normal times, I would have literally burnt our own palms that we can't keep and then use those as the ashes. But this, of course, is not normal time. So even the distribution of ashes is different this year. Instead of placing them on the head in the form of a cross, we can't do that because we're not allowed to touch. So they'll be sprinkled on top of the head instead. Mine will probably get caught up in my lovely thick curls. The ashes have got so many layers of meaning. This symbolism is very rich. And when they're distributed to the people, the words that accompany them can be repent and believe in the gospel. Or remember that you are dust and unto dust you shall return. Just a reminder of our mortality and the fact that we are just pilgrims on this earth and that one day at the end of our pilgrimage we will return to the earth, we will return to ashes. But that is not our final destination. You know, we're looking forward to our eternal home. Jesus promises that there are many rooms in my father's house, he says. Um, but the ashes could also just simply also mark the beginning of a new season the season of Lent. I heard somebody say the other day that Lent is their favourite season of the year. It's the, it's the, it's the season that, that he loves more than anything else. Um, and I can understand that in a way, because uh, in, in, in a lot of languages, this season is called uh, quadragesima or quaresma or quadrissima or words that relate to the fact that this is a season of 40 days or 40 nights, more or less. And it relates to the fact that Jesus himself spent 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness before he began his public ministry. And he had to face Satan and his temptations. And for us too, this is a time for us to face Satan and the temptations that we have in our lives. And please God, with the help of God's grace, will overcome them. So... But in English, the word for this season is Lent, which is a short Old English word, which means uh, lengthening of days, or basically springtime. So when you think of this being the springtime in the natural world, as well as for ourselves, spiritually speaking, we tend to think of uh, life, uh, emerging light, growth, um, you know, it's all very positive images that are conjured up. And hopefully that will be true for our lives of relationship as well. Our relationship with God, with each other, with those in need, with the world around us and within ourselves too. So I suppose um, if we think of the season of Lent in that respect, then the question is, well, what are you going to do about it? What am I going to do about it? What am I going to do? to help feed and nourish this life of relationship, this spiritual life. So, well, I, the important thing is we need to plan. We need to have something in mind. So what I'm going to do, it wouldn't suit anybody by any means, but I came across Father Mike Schmidt's podcasts. So basically it includes a Bible passage, a psalm, a commentary or an explanation of the Bible passage, reflection on it, and a prayer. And it all takes about 20 minutes. And I can listen to it first thing in the morning. And I've already started, actually. I'm on day five, and it's it's very good. And now not everybody has podcasts or, or would want to do anything like that, but there's something. We've all got a Bible. We've all got a, maybe a prayer book or a missal or... Um, or, or a book that inspires us, a book of poetry or something like that, something to nourish the heart, to nourish the soul. Uh, it's a good idea. And the other thing that I'm going to try and do is to lay aside some of the things, some of the many voices that go on during, during the day. And I, tend, I like the radio. Um, so I'm going to try and listen less. 
because it is a lot of voices coming at you all the time. So just to lay that aside for, for not all completely, but mostly, and also maybe a TV streaming, which has proved very useful during lockdown. But, uh, but I think now uh, it can be laid to one side, at least massively reduced, if not stopped altogether. So that's what I'm doing. But, you know, the important thing is to have a plan. And I do hope this is a, a fruitful season of grace for you. And just to finish, a couple of lines from the second reading from St. Paul to Corinthians. This is our second reading from Mass today on Ash Wednesday. As his fellow workers, we beg you once again not to neglect the grace of God that you have received. For he says, At the favourable time I have listened to you, on the day of salvation I came to your help. Well, now is the favourable time. This is the day of salvation. God bless you.